Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Sixtus the Third, son of Zeistus. Saint Sixtus was chief Roman priest at the time of his election to succeed Pope Saint Celestine the First on the 31st of July 432. He was known to Saint Augustine. On his election, Saint Prosper Aquintine wrote, "We trust in the protection of the Lord, and that." What he has done for us in Innocent, Zosimus, Boniface and Celestine, he will also do in Sixtus. And as they guarded the flock against declared and openly professed wolves, so he may drive off the hidden ones, referring to the teachers of the semi-Pelagianism. At first, he seems to have sympathized with Pelagus, but reminded of the limits of his prudence and charity by St. Augustine, he did abandon him. Sixtus was a consolator. Following the Council of Ephesus, he encouraged the negotiations between Cyril of Alexandria and John of Antioch, who were in disagreement regarding the two natures in Christ. When they at last came to an agreement, he wrote to congratulate them. Among the other fortifications in the city, Sixtus restored the Liberian Basilica, now called St. Mary Major, and rebuilt the Lateran Baptistry, giving it the present form. A second basilica was joined to the church of St. Lawrence outside the walls to replace what had been carried off by the Visigoths. Valentinian III was persuaded by him to contribute silver and gold ornaments to the basilicas of St. Peter, Paul and John Lateran. After his death on the 19th of August 440, his mortal remains were buried in St. Lawrence's Church and his name was included in the 9th century version of the Roman Martyrology by Ardo of Sense.